peace love light wisdom guidance blessings and discernment beautiful souls in this world because you don't know we are not of this world as you can see i am driving do not worry i will not be looking at y'all while i'm driving okay <laughs> um i am on the way to a client of mine um today's tuesday so i typically have majority of my clients um later in the evening um let me put these windows up so you guys can hear me so i have a lot of my clients later in the evening on tuesday nights right um but i do want to just bless up everybody i hope everybody is having a blessed new season okay new year whatever you want to call it i just hope that it's blessed for you i hope that you can see the hand of god already you know i just pray that whatever god has destined and in, in store for your divine purpose for your life i just pray that he's showing the move of his hands okay i do want to share something today all right it was dawned on me today um but i want to share something and i'm just going to dive right in you are covered okay you are covered in the blood hallelujah i need you to catch this in the spirit now you are covered in the blood there's things that the enemy for some of you he has already been doing this for many of you it hasn't yet transpired yet but with this being a new season this is your warning this is your foresight god is giving you letting you know that the enemy is coming to bring things of your past things that you were already delivered from things that you you know believe and and, and trusted god to to get out of your system get out of your spirit right things that you were struggling with things that you prayed many you know times and over the course of months weeks years for god to remove out of you and out of your life okay the enemy is going to try to bring back right what seems to be those same things that god would have that god did deliver you from okay i want to make this clear because some of you i feel this strongly hallelujah some of you will encounter this okay where the enemy is going to try to he's going to try to bring back things that you know you're like why is this back you know who told you to come back why is this back i i, I got over this okay i got over this breakup i got over this bad habit i got over this addiction all right so you're going to be like why I, I thought i was done with this what happened and many of you are going to give in to the lust of perfection what do you mean coolie i mean many of you are going to fall many of you are going to fall and this is not this is not a word to scare you or to you know uh, make you depressed and like oh my gosh I'm gonna fall I knew I wasn't good enough or I knew I could, I'm not fit for this walk or no 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 this word is not for that let this word be edifying to your spirit okay many of you will fall what does the word say the righteous man fall okay and how many times not just one time seven times plus some all right if god is telling you that his righteous his chosen vessels his righteous spirit that seeks his face on a daily falls even seven times what does that mean that means that it's your duty and due diligence to get up get up when you do fall so i'm telling you now whenever you fall or if you have fell already it's time for you to get up it's time for you to realize that you can't stay here it's time for you to realize the tactics and schemes of the enemy and do not give in to those schemes do not give in to those tactics my god my god the righteous man falls seven times 
But let me tell you how the righteous man, and I can speak on the behalf of the righteous man because I have became a righteous man that does fall many times, okay? You're talking about seven, I'm talking about 17,000 times, but I will get up that 17,001 time, I will keep getting up again and again and again. And the thing about it is this, this scheme and tactic that the enemy is about to do, trying to bring back old things things mm, right it's about him trying to get you to remain in the mind state that what did we what did i say i'm not fit for this i'm not fit for the kingdom i'm not fit to be a child of god i'm not strong enough i i can't i don't have the spirit like they have to keep going i no 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 so this is what i'm telling you the enemy wants that from you the enemy wants that to be your portion but let me tell you how that is not nowhere in the plans of god for you hallelujah that is not nowhere in the plans that god has written for you so here's your strategy remember that the god that you serve is a very strategic god so here's your strategy beloved your strategy look at those birds flying hallelujah thank you jesus your strategy is that you are vigilant aware sober minded comprehensive at every given moment okay many of you can prevent your falling yeah yes many of you can prevent from falling many of you may not prevent it but you have strategy of what to do after you fall the objective and the goal of this is to not allow the scheme and tactic of the enemy to conquer you to devour you remember the plan of the enemy is to steal kill and destroy and it's to devour he's seeking he's roaming around like a lion seeking waiting to see who can he devour okay but your your your, your objective and goal is to not allow what he's trying to creep up and what he's trying to you know not allow that to devour you and conquer over you and keep you down get up get up beloved get up you can and you will get up and remember that you are covered in what you are covered in the blood of christ he already sacrificed on the cross it's done already meaning that you already won meaning that you are already healed meaning that you have already conquered you have already overcame you have already prospered amen are you are you catching this Jesus already died on the cross and rose again on the third day. It is finished. It is completed. It is already done. Mm, Jesus. So if you are someone who can prevent your fall, prevent it in Jesus' mighty name. If you're someone who will fall, get up in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't fall into the lust of perfection. You were not created to be perfect. There's only one who walked this earth that can ever hold perfection. We weren't built and wired to hold perfection. Not after Adam and Eve. No, not after what they did. You understand? We were born into sin, which means perfection does not live inside of us. Perfection does not reside with us. Understand? But that's just that just makes us the creation that God created. That just makes us human. That just makes us the beings that God created in his image accept who you really are and the thing is a lot of us don't really know who we are and this is why we cannot accept this fact this is why we cannot move accordingly in our lives because we don't truly comprehend who we are many of us think and believe that we're supposed to be these perfect beings or at least close to perfect you know and so they try to force that type of lifestyle and the reason why they fall into depression or fall into anxiety and all these things is because 
they would fail at that. You would always fail at being perfect because you were not wired to be that. You understand? So, I'm telling you today, rebuke the lust of perfection. That's the scheme and tactic of the enemy and he's trying to devour you with that, many of us. Remember, the enemy is trying to bring up old things. But what, what season are we in? We're in a new season because God said he's doing something completely new which means what did God himself say he said the all things are past and gone they are gone away they are passed away just like when someone passes away can they come back from the dead no they are gone from this side of the realm so all things are passed away they cannot be resurrected the enemy is deceiving you and is trying to allow you to fall back in what you were already delivered from do not fall into his scheme you have the power you have the sound mind to remain in god's newness do that beloved do just that nothing more nothing less God is not asking you to do nothing more. He's not asking you to do nothing less than remaining in Him and what He have for you. You are covered in the blood, beloved. Walk in that. Move accordingly in that. You are covered. Don't fall for the schemes and the tactics of the enemy. Oh, he, 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 he's working because he sees. The enemy can see. The enemy can see your destiny, you know. The enemy can see what's destined for you. And this is why he has attacking so heavy for us. Because he can see. And what his goal is and his objective is to get us to refrain from making it there get us to refrain from making it to our destiny get us to refrain from making it to the destination god 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 desires and plans and has for us right to prosper us to build us a future he sees the future god has for us and he's trying to you know refrain from us reaching there and getting there my god don't fall for it don't fall for it you are so much more than a conqueror and you can and you will conquer the enemy that's it this time is up it been up and he's just trying to do as much as he can you know while he still has a very little bit time that he does because god is jesus is coming back i'm telling you he's coming back and so it's our duty to do the necessary things and the things that we know we need to do before before he comes back and so don't let the enemy hinder you and refrain you from doing exactly what god needs you to do before we all go to his the kingdom before that sky crack open and we become raptured and caught up you understand so i pray this was very edifying i know that it was it was edifying for me and again remind you guys i always tell you that whatever i speak it's coming from experience is coming from you know things that has already transpired and and happened and things that i have already encountered in my life so i'm not speaking to you guys from anything else from what god allows me to experience and then the revelation he gives me based upon that experience amen so we're in this together i love you guys so much bless up yourself bless new season bless new year do exactly move accordingly in this new that god has for you because like he said the old is gone and passed away behold the new springs forth do you not perceive it i know i do and sometimes it's going to be hard for you to perceive it in the you know in the midst of everything transpiring so that your natural eye can see but i'm telling you beloved mm, once you fix your eyes it's all about per perception and perspective how are you choosing to perceive it that's why god says do you not perceive it because how are you choosing to perceive it you can perceive it one way you can perceive it another way so how are you going to choose to perceive this and keep this in mind 
when those schemes and t tactics start to become, you know, be a fruition. Keep this in mind. If you have to go back and watch this video again now or when the time comes that you have fallen or whatever, do so. Okay? I love you guys so much. Bless up yourself. You done know the thing already. Coolie baby day. Make sure you stay tuned for the moving Monday. If you missed it, it's there on the website. The link is in the description below. Make sure you stay tuned for Coolie Baby Express's podcast, season two. The new episode, episode number one, season two, is releasing and airing this Saturday, the 7th of January, 2023. So don't miss that. Link is in the description. And for all other endeavors and everything that got is doing all his movements is on the website the link is in the description i love you guys so much bless up yourself you don't know the thing already cool baby yeah remember stay vigilant i love you